is officially August, the month eclipse chasers have been waiting a long time for. Our total solar eclipse hits Oregon on the 21st. Hospitals along the path of totality are gearing up for a very busy long weekend in late August. KGW's Pat Doris went to Lincoln City today to see what the local hospital is doing to get ready. And Pat, that's where the eclipse will first touch North America. Yep, it's going to be amazing here, Tracy. The hospital is small, but they can handle a lot of basic problems. Both they and the fire department doing everything they can to try and make that weekend the best. Big crowds could show up to stand on Lincoln City's gorgeous beaches and watch the eclipse August 21st. It's not fun to think about, but odds are someone will get hurt trying to reach this place. It is something that leaders at Samaritan North Lincoln Hospital have thought about for months other unpredictable part is trauma and certainly um, we expect a lot of people to be on the roads and one of our chief uh, trauma mechanisms that we see are motor vehicle accidents along Highway 101 on the coast. Dr. So Leslie Ogden is CEO here. She said the hospital can handle level four trauma cases like a broken arm but if it's a broken arm and internal bleeding the patient will be sent to higher level hospitals in Corvallis or Portland. We um, know that all of our partner hospitals uh, in the state are sort of on alert. We're all doing the same sort of thing to make sure that we have the ability to take care of whoever presents at our doors. The Lincoln City Hospital is bringing in lots of doctors and nurses and others for the big weekend. It's also canceled regular appointments at its seven clinics around the county, turning all seven into urgent care centers from a few days before to the day after the eclipse. They hope that keeps the hospital's emergency room from being overwhelmed. We're just preparing for whatever comes. Fire crews are preparing too. Among other things, they'll be checking the beach the night before the eclipse. So we are going to do some uh, uh, patrols and talk to people and make sure that, you know, late in the evening that there's not anyone staying too low on the beach. And there will be lots of people working at fire stations, helping to keep all the visitors safe. All the fire districts I know down up and down the coast are going to be actually every man on deck. I, I just spoke with Coast Guard, the same's there. So uh, we'll have full-time crew on uh, that day, and we'll have our volunteer crews also volunteering at all our stations. Also, there's a rumor going around that there could be power outages on that weekend because of all the people coming here. We checked with Cin Central Lincoln PUD and also with Pacific Power. Neither of them have put out any warnings on that issue. So we think that that is just a rumor. Back to you. I hope they get a day like that. It's yeah, so really. beautiful. But uh -huh. you said, Pat, earlier you're cold. Are you kidding? So sea breeze. No, it's like 70 degrees and the wind is blowing. You got to have a coat on. Lots of people here do. Wow. Come join us. Yes. Yeah, we want to. Thank you, Pat.